reconciliation between the nations, that all people may together live in freedom, justice, and peace. We pray for all who in bereavement, disability, and pain continue to suffer the consequences of fighting and terror. We remember with thanksgiving and sorrow those whose lives in world wars and conflicts past and present have been given and taken away. In memory of the service men and women who have given their lives for their country since the Second World War, we today officially dedicate a new flag on our war memorial. They shall grow not old, as we that are left grow old. Age shall not weary them, nor the years condemn. At the going down of the sun and in the morning, we will remember them.
when you go home, tell them of us and say, for your tomorrow we gave our today. When you walk in peaceful lanes so free, remember <coughs> us, and think what might have been, we do remember them. Lord, we remember those who you have gathered from the storm of war into the peace of your presence. May that same peace calm our fears, bring justice to all peoples, and establish harmony among the nations. And this we ask in your name. Amen. refreshes my soul. He guides me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You set a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup is filled to overflowing. May goodness and kindness follow me all the days of my life. And may I live in the house of the Lord forevermore. 
from the book of Micah. In the days to come, the mount of the Eternal's house shall stand, firm above the mountains, and it shall tower above the hills. The peoples shall gaze on it with joy. And the many nations shall go and shall say, Come, let us go up to the mount of the Lord, to the house of the God of Jacob, that God may instruct us in all God's ways, and that we may walk in God's paths. For instruction shall come forth from Zion, the word of God from Jerusalem. And thus will God judge among the many peoples, and arbitrate for the multitude of nations, however distant. And they shall beat their swords into plowshares, and their spears into pruning hooks. Nation shall not take up sword against nation, they shall never again know war. But everyone shall sit under their grapevine or fig tree, with no one to disturb. For it was the eternal God of hosts who spoke. Though all the peoples walk each in the names of its gods, we will walk in the name of the eternal our God forever and ever.